Today is 29th of April, Thursday, fourth week of Easter. The Gospel text is John 13, 16 to 20. So we pray. Jesus, during this time of prayer, may your spirit bear witness to you in our hearts. May he create in us knowledge and love of you. O oh, Spirit of Christ, here we are, ready to listen to you. Speak, Lord. We are listening. After he had washed the feet of his disciples, Jesus said to them, I tell you most solemnly, no servant is greater than his master. No messenger is greater than the man who sent him. Now that you know this, happiness will be yours if you behave accordingly. I am not speaking about all of you. I know the ones I have chosen. But what scripture says must be fulfilled. Someone who shares my table rebels against me. I tell you this now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe that I am. I tell you most solemnly, whoever welcomes the one I send welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me the gospel of the Lord. Jesus has just washed the feet of his disciples and asked them to wash one another's feet. In this context, Jesus asked them to be like him their master and law. No servant is greater than his master, no messenger greater than the one who sent him. The washing of the feet of the disciples by Jesus has a double meaning. First, it means humble service of others, which requires overcoming one's pride. So it is a self-sacrificing love. The second meaning of foot washing, it is also, it also symbolizes Jesus's Humility in accepting death, death on the cross, thus manifesting his perfect love for his disciples and for the whole human race. So this is what Jesus is asking his disciples to do to die to their egos daily as they spend themselves in humble service of one another, then they must be even willing to die for others. This readiness to die for one another is to be manifested in small sacrifices, especially in helping others 
in their material needs. This is the proof of love that he laid down his life for us and we too ought to lay down our life for our brothers. Such a readiness to die for others is to be expressed in this way. If anyone is well off in worldly possessions and sees his brother in need but closes his heart to him, how can the love of God be remaining in him? 1 John 3, 16 to 17. Yes, this readiness to die for others should be expressed in small ways through sharing of what we have. At the end of our lives, we will be judged on our active love for our neighbor in need. The hungry, naked, thirsty, sick, homeless. Matthew, Matthew chapter 25. This is the essence of Christian life. That is, out of love for Christ, serve his brothers and sisters in need. This is the essence of Christian life. That is, out of love for Christ, serve his brothers and sisters in need. Now that you know this, blessed are you if you behave accordingly. Behavior of Judas is just the opposite of that of a true disciple. <laughs> Instead of loving Jesus and imitating his self-sacrificing love, he betrays him out of greed and other selfish interests. He who shares my table takes advantage of me. He uses his privileged position as a disciple of Jesus to betray him. This is what leaders in the church do when they misuse their privileged position not to serve like Christ but to betray him, to dishonor his name by their scandalous behavior by using their authority for their personal gain and profit. Here I am thinking of some priests and religious who betray Jesus through their scandalous behavior, causing so much harm to the Church of Christ. In God's plan, the betrayal of Jesus by Judas and his death on the cross will reveal Jesus as the Messiah, Son of God. I tell you this now, before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe that I am. Yes, death of Christ on the cross will reveal that he is the Messiah. He is the I am. God uses the treachery of Judas to execute his plan of salvation for the world. Christ crucified will become the source of living water that washes away the sins of humanity and create a new family of love who will keep the commandment of love. We pray. Jesus, as we experience 
the fruits of your death on the cross and your resurrection continuously in our lives. May our hearts be renewed and empower us to love as you loved by washing the feet of the poor and afflicted. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.